When the Duke of Sussex revealed who called him Spare first, it shocked many. The title of the Duke of Sussex's autobiography is Spare, a nickname he said he was given by some members of his family, who though was the first to call him by that name. Prince of Wales was widely thought to be the one because he is the heir, and the Duke of Sussex is the spare. However, according to the Duke of Sussex, his older brother was not involved. Find out who Royal first referred to him as spare, and find out what the Duke's publisher is requesting from him now that he is unable to produce. According to the Duke, the Duke of Sussex was referred to as a spare, on the same day that he was born September 15, 1984. I was the shadow, the support, the plan B, the Duke said in his autobiography, describing himself as the Prince of Wales's spare. I came into this planet as a backup plan in case the Prince of Wales got into trouble. They called on me to be a backup, a diversion, a distraction, and, if needed, a replacement component. Maybe the kidneys, transfusion of blood, bone marrow speck. Everything was made very apparent to me right from the beginning of my life's journey, and then it was constantly reaffirmed. It was the Duke of Sussex's father, the King, who referred to him as a spare in the hours following his birth, as per the Duke himself. I was 20 years old when I first heard the legend of what my father supposedly told my mother on the day I was born. Wonderful! You have finished my job. You have given me an air plus an extra. An idiom. I assume so. Nevertheless, according to Andrew Morton, who compiled Princess Diana's biography from her surreptitiously recorded tapes, the Duke's mother presented the king as a caring parent rather than a sole provider. Diana always made it clear in the tapes and conversations with me or with her friend James Colthus that the Duke of Sussex was a backup in the nicest possible way. So, it wasn't about him being an organ donor but a friend and supporter to the Prince of Wales. Morton explained to Newsweek, assuring Diana that the Duke was indeed a backup to the Prince of Wales. She had other plans for him. She didn't want him to be a hitman. Several royal observers have questioned the reason behind the non-paperback availability of the autobiography, Spare, which was issued in January 2023. Rumor has it that Penguin Random House, the Duke's publisher, is waiting for the Duke of Sussex to provide fresh gossip before releasing the paperback edition. The catch is that it's been over four years since the Duke was last actively involved in the royal sphere. That leaves him with no fresh gossip, especially since rumors that the royal family has avoided him at all costs during the few events he has attended since stepping down, presumably out of distrust. Here we have our video. What do you think about this? Make sure to drop a comment before you leave. Thanks for watching and see you later.